Thank you for purchasing the Klein Infiltration Pump from HK Surgical. In this DVD, you'll learn step-by-step -step how to install and set up your new Klein Infiltration Pump. This instructional information will also be available as a link on hksurgical.com. Or if you have questions, please call HK Surgical at 1-800-909-0060. Let's begin with a description of the component. Included with your new Klein infiltration pump are the following items. The infiltration pump, a power cord, a foot pedal, the user's guide, and one piece of single spike infiltration tubing. The following items are optional to accompany your infiltration pump and are available at HK Surgical. The double spike infiltration tubing, code ITD. This saves time by allowing you to hang two IV bags. The HK2X infiltration tubing, code HK2X. This is used in conjunction with the HK single spike infiltration tubing and can reduce infiltration time up to 50%. The clear view tubing, code CVT. This is designed specifically for doctors performing vein ablation who appreciate high quality Clear view, no dripping, no bubbles. The IV pole and bracket, which is designed to add mobility and ease for transportation of the Klein infiltration pump around the operating room. Now, I'll go through the setup instructions. If you should need to review these again after watching the DVD, you can go online to hksurgical.com and click on the available link or call HK Surgical at 1-800-909-0060. The main power on-off switch is located on the rear panel with a power on LED indicator on the front panel. Plug the main power cord into the back of the infiltration pump. Plug the other end into any AC outlet with the same voltage as noted on your machine. The foot switch connectors are located on the front of the pump under the pump head. The pump speed or flow rate is set by a user adjustable single turn pedometer or speed control dial located on the front of the panel. The drive is a single direction with a clockwise pump head operation and is not user selectable. The infiltration fluid, tubing, handle, needle and spike must be sterile. Connect the pneumatic foot switch tubing to the ports located on the front of the pump under the pump head. Turn the power to the Klein infiltration pump to the on position. Open the pump head to allow the loading of the peristaltic tubing tubing section. Place the tubing on the roller section ensuring the flow direction is from left to right when facing the unit. Select the desired pneumatic foot switch mode, toggled or momentary, located on the back of the pump. In toggle mode, depress the foot switch to start the pump's operation. Depress again to discontinue pump operation. In momentary mode, the pump pedal must be held down to enable pump operation. Adjust the flow rate as necessary using the speed control dial. Important note, rotating dial clockwise will increase the flow rate. Rotating the dial counterclockwise will decrease the flow rate. The dial indicator numbers are relative and do not indicate a specific flow rate. Flow rates must be empirically correlated to the dial indicator number. The climb pump has a 0 to 1000 mil per minute capability. Unloading the tubing. Open the pump head lid to the open mechanism and remove the tubing. If there's any fluid in the bag, make sure to clamp the tubing prior to removal to prevent leakage. Equipment operation information. The pneumatic foot switches control the peristaltic pump when the unit's main power switch is on. The pump mechanism lid must be in the locked position to operate the pump. Lifting the lid deactivates the pumping action. Shutdown procedure. If in toggle mode, depress the foot switch to turn the pump off. Or if in momentary mode, remove pressure from the foot switch. Then turn the main power switch to the off position. User maintenance. No pump maintenance is required. All components are lifetime lubricated. Do not lubricate. Check condition of power cord and foot switch tubing annually. Replace if cracked or worn. 
cleaning the pump case. Dirt, stains, and dried materials can be removed from the case by using any mild, non-abrasive cleaner. Ground-in materials should be scrubbed with a soft bristle brush. If using a stronger cleaner or bristle brush, test it in an inconspicuous area, such as the bottom, before using it on the entire unit. The surface may then be wiped clean with a damp cloth. Once assembled, should you have any problems with your new Klein infiltration pump, please watch the enclosed troubleshooting video or call us at HK Surgical, 1-800-909-0060.